We just passed another Starbucks, folks. You're going to see a lot of Starbucks restaurant or coffee shops here in Vancouver. I love to see you smile, smile, smile. You sound like this. Good afternoon, Denny. That uh, wasn't made to hurry you up. I just was leaning on the horn. You're well ahead of me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. That was quick. I was looking at I see On Tongas Island, a chief in a spruce root dance hat tops the pole. At the base is the chief, Raven at the head of Ness, from whom Raven stole daylight. Hollywood used to be my old stomping ground, Los Palmas, and now all over the place. Thank you. Thank you. My goodness. Yeah, all of a sudden I came up. He's being a closer. See the seal? Mm -hmm. No, he was one over here just now. Oh, that's where he went. Beautiful dramatic waterfall. 
from where I drop you off to the photo point on Nugget Falls Trail and back again, about a 45 minute round trip walk. It's pretty easy and level. Now, up ahead, see the 20 mile an hour sign? Look underneath it. That little yellow sign says Bear Crossing. It's not a joke. This is a favorite crossing spot for the bears. And since you might encounter one, or two or three, the Forest Service has requested I give a little talk about the bears, so here's the essentials to maintain keep your distance. A few weeks ago, I had a guy come up these stairs, all oh, frenzy giggles, telling me I had a bear from me to you. That's too close. Try to stay 20 feet away. If you have food, get rid of it. There will be a bear-proof garbage can right outside the door when I come to a home. Don't run from bears. They're faster than humans, and uh, that excites their predatory instincts. But you know what? Let me take that one back. There is an exception to the no-run rule. If you are with a large group of people and some of them run slower than you, run. And if not, raise your arms above your head, look as large as possible, begin to talk loud and aggressive, and you can bluff them. They'll go away. Now, I do have some whale watchers on board, do I not? No. People, anybody going whale watching from the glacier? You? You're going whale watching from the glacier? No? Okay. Then evidently not. So everybody look at that. See those flagpoles? I'm not going there. But you want to. At the base of those flagpoles, there is a walkway that will get you off to the visitor center. It's like a museum, displays, lectures, movies. $3 to get in. Well worth it. And that is also where Nugget Falls Trail starts, right over there. However, before you go there that way, that's a short way to get to the visitor center. I would suggest walking back here getting on the deck over the creek, check out the salmon spawning in the creek, and then to get to the next parking lot in the visitor center, take this section of Steep Creek Trail. It's only about 100 yards long. This is your best chance of seeing a bear. And notice the sign saying Steep Creek Bear Viewing. If there's any bears around, they'll be fishing in the creek right here. Final tip, do not pet the porcupines. They're all over, they're cute little critters. Interesting biological datum about porcupines. You know how they make love? Very carefully. All right, folks, have fun, and I'll try not to be so serious on the way back. Are you the auntie or the mommy? I'm the mommy. Then I was talking to the auntie. Uh-huh. This is it. Scabway is one street, almost. Inside passage. This area. Oh. But what's most vivid in those stories is what happened here 250 to 300 years ago. So let's take you back into time about 500 years. You wouldn't be cruising here because there would be thick ice. The Great Glacier was named after one of the first glaciologists who came up with the study of the ice in the late 1800s. Do you have longer pants? <laughs> in the laundry. <laughs> Wet would not be good out here. I'll suffer. I mean, it's not that bad. We are just leaving and making a three point nine road. Take a look on that beach to the right. Running.
There's a baby and there's a mama. straight in front of us, a tributary at one time of the Grand Pacific. I guess you could say we'll be the star of the show for the next hour.
Today we have national parks all over the world. It is currently 11 o'clock and the sun is just setting. <laughs>